All right, guys, we're ready to build this computer. Um, so it's going to be just a mini ITX uh, HTPC with a little bit of gaming power to it. Um, so let me show you what I got. All right, we have an OEM version of LG DVD ROM. Um, I don't know what that deal is with silent play, but 10 bucks. OEM version, none of the fancy uh, packaging, so you can't go wrong there. We got the AMD A8 37K, uh, 3 gigahertz um, black edition, so it's unlocked. And we got the ASRock. A75M ITX we have two 2 gig Patriot I thought I bought 4 gig so I guess I'm running only 4 gig but that's okay because I'm swapping these out for the Kingston HyperX 8 gig stick so I'll have 16 in total And we got the Apex M1008 case. So let's get this cleaned up and start ripping things apart and putting together. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's start with the case. We literally have to take everything apart. So we got four screws here, 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 and here, get the case apart. Alrighty, that's that. Power supply has to come out. Okay, so power supply. Um, you got to take the face off of the casing and there's just a couple tabs on the inside on the bottom there. Beauty. That'll give us a lot more room. Okay, what do we got here? Got some, got some screws. Got some feet and these, I believe, are for a hard drive. Looks like hard drive mounts. Okay, got a cord, power supply, and these are your USB ports and audio. Okay, first things first, motherboard. Motherboard, we got the audio jack. One SATA cable, backing plate. Let's get the backing plate set in. And that's that. Now our motherboard. Make sure everything, all the little springs are going to be in place. So when you push it forward, you put the screws in. Holds nice. Not a heck of a lot of room. Uh, 
Alrighty. Now you'll notice on this board, it's an AMD, so it should use those extra four pins, okay? Intel, I believe, still uses only the 20 pins, and the four are usually for AMD. So this sticker will have to come off. Okay, so it'll be a hard drive LED, the power LED, positive and negative, and the power switch. We'll go to our quick connect guide, and that gives you the pin headers, where they are and what goes to what. So there's what we need, power LED, positive and negative. Hope you guys can see that okay. Okay, and your speaker header shows you where everything is. Cool. Okay, here's the USB headers back. Back here are USB headers. Okay, so we have everything here connected. And I'm going to be using just a 120 gig SATA laptop drive until I get an SSD. To replace this because I can always make an image of the 120 and uh, put it onto an SED when swapping that out. This is a, I'm actually formatting it right now. This is actually an old IDE. So, my idea is the two and a half inch slot here for an old floppy drive or something. I'm just going to put a piece of cardboard across here and I'll be able to lay my SATA drive on top of that. Alright guys, here's my 120 gig uh, SATA drive I'm going to be using. It's just finished formatting. I got it out of my... Uh, I bought one of these external cases to put that old laptop in, uh, hard drive in. So it just went through the ancient or the long long process of a long format okay guys it's crunchy coleslaw salad to the rescue I got my SATA drive here 120 gig as I said just till I get the SSD but it's a perfect fit just cut the top up, cut it out a bit there and that's how my Hard drive will sit until I can get the adapter for the two and a half inch floppy that'll sit. Perfect. She's right rednecked. <laughs> now we put our hard drive in. There are optical drive. Now we're looking for the thin for the fine thread screws. Actually, I'll have to put the front face back on. It's got a little slider here. Slide that down, make sure it touches the button. Hope you guys can see that. It's got a little white slider. You just slide that across to where your button is on your DVD drive. So when you press the outside button, it moves. Now on the case you'll notice some holes, screw holes that go across. Just make sure it's leaning up against it and hit that hole there. Alrighty. Now get to putting some RAM in. So the RAM is just a matter of put, taking the little tabs, pulling them back both sides and as soon as you press down, press the RAM in, it'll close up on it. There's a notch in the slot where they match. There's that one. Push it in, clips in.
I should have actually still waited to put the DVD drive in. Okay, now there's a little lever. Put this back here. A little lever on your AMD, you just push to the side and pull it up. This little lever here. Where the writing is, socket FM1, you want your writing the same way that the writing goes on your socket. Just get it nicely. Put that in, and it just drops in there beautiful. Now it's just a matter of locking this down. Beautiful. I know I said in my other video that this didn't come with thermal grease, thermal paste, but it actually does, because this is actually the first time I have ever bought retail, the retail box. I always buy OEM. Now, I didn't realize that the OEM come with silver, so... Okay, now... Got to find out on this board where your levers got to be, either on that side of the chip or this side of the chip. So just got to kind of wiggle in in there and drop it on top of your uh, chip and see if you have room to close the lever. But I'm going to put it this way. It's pretty simple. These hooks on the board, there's some heavy duty plastic hooks. You just put the square over the hooks on both sides and then lock it down. So we'll take our, uh, and once you put it on, don't take it off unless you have thermal paste. Because once it's on, it's on for good. See, this is what I mean. I should have, should have waited to take that off or put that on. Okay, I'm gonna take my DVD drive out and do that. Okay. So I just put this on really nice and flush, and you'll have no problems. I wish you guys could get a better look at this. But, I have a shit camera. <laughs> Cranking her down, making sure everything's in, and boom, that's that. Wait. <laughs> Potato salad to the rescue. <laughs> you can actually buy two and a half drive slot uh, brackets to put a laptop drives in, two and a half inch laptop drive. But I'll pick up one of those when I get an SSD. CPU fan. Over here in the corner. Got a little slot here. Uh oh. 
think I might have a problem. I think I have a definite problem. CPU fan. Or the power supply. Definitely going to be in the way. Okay, not gonna fit. Power supply is uh, right on top of the CPU fan. So, we're gonna do some modifying. 